Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and it's been a while since I've done a bullet journaling video on the channel. As you guys know, this year I'm not doing them every month. So first of all, I thought I'd show you guys how I've been doing my past few months just to give you guys a bit of a taste of uh, the themes that I've been doing and how I've been organizing my bullet journal spreads. Uh, nothing too crazy to be honest, I've just been keeping it simple. I usually pick out a nice palette from all of my Archer and Olive Curlograph pens and they kind of go from there. And this month, I was feeling a bit fancy, so I was like, you know what, let's do a, a bullet journaling video. So if you'd like to bullet journal along with me, feel free to. I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. So for May, I am going to be doing this sort of like leafy, florally theme, very like kind of tattoo style, just because these are kind of the doodles that I've been doing at the moment. So I just thought it was fitting to do a, a spread with these sort of designs on them. So I'm using a yellow-ish, like a yellow ochre and a muted green acrylograph pen from Archer and Olive to do all of the colored bits of these spreads. And then I'm pretty much just using a fine liner to do all of the rest of the designs. So I started off by doing this sort of kind of like a gradient, ooh, a gradient on my uh, title page for May. I even used a darker green to kind of enhance the gradient over there on the edge and stuff like that. But yeah, the, th the cool thing about these acrylograph pens is that you can blend them. They're uh, paint pens, essentially. So they're nice if you want to blend colors or do some sort of gradient. And I've mentioned them before in my videos, but I am absolutely obsessed with them. I own every single color and they're awesome because they will literally cover anything that you paint them on top of. Like they're just so opaque because obviously they're paint pens. So they're awesome, uh, especially for bullet journaling. They're just great. So yeah, now I just took my fine liner. I'm using the 1.0 millimeter pen from my Marvi Uchida fine liner set. And I'm just kind of doing these cute little designs of some flowers. It's all very kind of like line arty and graphic-y and I've just been really enjoying doing these doodles uh, on everything recently. I don't know why, I just have been. I kind of just went down in a loophole on Pinterest a few weeks ago of these cool like flower tattoo designs and I kind of just uh, got them stuck in my head, so. I of course added some little sparkles here and there with my yellowish color that I'm using for these spreads just to kind of fill in those empty gaps. And then I just erased all the pencil of my sketches and of course then added a little drop shadow to my title over there. This is my title page. I think it looks really cute. For my monthly spread, I used the green acrylograph to draw out my calendar for the month. And I have, again, since I started using colors a lot more in my bullet journal, I've just been loving using them uh, for things that I normally would keep in black and white. I just think it adds such a nice pop of color and it just makes things a little bit more interesting when you're planning out your month and stuff. So I don't know, it's probably something that <laughs> probably a lot of people don't think about or just do without thinking too much about it. but. I used to be a very, like, a creature of habit, so I'm trying to change things up a little bit. Even if it's tiny little things like using a colored pen to mark out my bullet journal calendar. <laughs> I then used my yellow acrylograph pen to draw in little circles for every day of the month, and that's where I'm going to be writing out the days of the month. And then I just wrote out May over there at the top and messed around with different drop shadows. I started doing a little yellow drop shadow, but then I actually thought a black drop shadow 
worked better so I went with that instead and then of course I got my fine liner and did all of the little doodles uh, over there on the page on the left and honestly I just get so relaxed when I do these doodles I really recommend you trying them out um, I just they're just so relaxing and they're like the kind of doodles that it's hard to mess up and even if you do mess up it kind of looks like it fits the design also very suiting for May uh, since summer is approaching. I also really enjoy that you kind of don't need anything fancy to do these drawings. You kind of just need one pen and you can just design so much with them. And I really enjoy that, especially when doing my weekly spreads. I've obviously been doing them a lot faster and just, I, I've just been pretty busy. So I don't really have that much time between each week to do my weekly spreads. So something quick like this, that's also relaxing at the same time, doing these doodles is honestly the perfect recipe. So I'm very excited to do my weekly spreads for the rest of the month like this. I then took just a, uh, a brush pen in black and added a little um, oval shape at the top of every day of the week and that's where I'm gonna be writing out the days of the week with my white acrylograph pen. And as you can see uh, with a white acrylograph pen is probably where you see it the best is just how opaque these pens are with just like writing it out once it's so opaque and uh just covers up whatever is underneath them so well i just really enjoy these pens a lot and i will never shut up about them <laughs> so then i added my little tasks for this month section and my youtube video planner section as well over there on the right uh, this is just where i'll write like tasks that i want to get done this month or any events that are happening this month and uh also where I plan out what YouTube videos I want to film slash uh, post. So this is just where I plan things with a, a monthly overview. And of course, went in and decorated all the little, you know, empty spaces with some of these floral leafy designs. And then I added some drop shadows because drop shadows apparently never go out of fashion and I'm kind of here for it. And then I went in with my yellow pen again, and you know me, just added some sparkles everywhere. Sparkles just make everything so much better. I will hear nothing of it, so <laughs> that's how I decorate all of my pages, regardless of the theme. And that was pretty much it for my monthly spread. Next up, we have my habits and my expenses tracker, and I actually decided to change my habits tracker for the first time in like a year or something i don't know i was feeling really crazy and i just changed the format of it a little bit and for the actual title areas i got some of my black dot grid paper from archer and olive they have these really cool like notebooks uh with like extra paper that you can uh tear out and use in your bullet journals and they fit the pages beautifully because you know they're all from the same manufacturing so yeah i use that to create this sort of blacked out title banner situation it looks very scrapbooky very cute um i see armando rachel do this a lot and i always think it looks so cool so i wanted to do it as well yeah, I, I used my green pen to write the titles over the top, as well as the yellow pen to write trackers. And then, as I said, for my habits tracker, I decided to go for a vertical down approach this time, as opposed to how I've been doing my trackers over the past year, where I have like an individual calendar for each tracker, and I just kind of black out the dates of any days that I have completed that habit. Um, if you watch some of my previous bullet journaling videos, you'll see what I mean, but... I wanted to try something a little bit different since we are changing it up this month a little. 
So I'm gonna be writing down my habits over there at the top for each column and then the days of the month over on the left and basically filling out every day of the month that I complete each habit. And then I use the same colors over on the right on my expenses tracker to draw out my expenses tracker table. Uh, again, this one is definitely one that I never change, uh, not even on this special occasion. I just really like a working formula and my expenses tracker is always pretty simple and easy to use so I can track my money coming in and out easily. So that one just kind of looks the same old, same old. So that was it for my trackers and next up I have my brain dump which is normally just a double spread of empty space where I write down all of my lists and stuff that I have to remember. It's where I plan out different things so empty space as much as possible is what I strive for in these pages. So I use the same cardstock paper in the black dot grid and used just like a circle of it to stick in the middle and then I just wrote brain dump in the middle of it that's like the title I guess for the spread and that kind of keeps in with the scrapbooky feel from the last two spreads which I like and yeah just went in with my green and yellow pen and just kind of decorated it a little bit and then I'd added some of my little floral designs on the top left corner and the bottom right corner just to kind of frame the pages a little bit and so they didn't look too empty. But again, I like to keep these spreads pretty open so I have as much space as possible for all of my lists and planning. And now for my final spreads, we have my weekly spread for the first week of the month. And over the past few weeks, I've been doing my spreads in this vertical fashion, um, just because that's the role I'm on at the moment. So I thought I'd stick with it. Um, I do like to switch around between formats for my weekly spreads, but I've been really enjoying this one. So <laughs> you're gonna have to stick with it with me. Uh, so I went in with my green pen and kind of just did the borders for each day of the week. Again, it is really soothing to do these spreads, especially with the colored pencils. It just feels like I'm doing really cute, like, I don't know, like graphic-y notes. And it really takes me back to school. And I used to love do t doing note-taking with my colors and my pens and everything. So I don't know, I find it quite nostalgic and relaxing to do these like this and actually taking the time to make them look pretty. Um, I feel like I've been kind of steamrolling the past few weeks and uh, busy with work and I haven't really sat down and actually done some bullet journaling for myself. So this was very, very nice. So then I colored in the top row of each one of these little boxes. I then went in with my yellow uh, acrylograph pen and wrote down the days of the month at the top there. Of course, added a little drop shadow with my fine liner later on. And I used the same yellow to draw a sort of line kind of on the top quarter of each box. And that's just so I can separate my events from my tasks. It just kind of keeps things nice and organized. And then of course I went in with my uh, white acrylograph pen and just kind of wrote out the days of the week in that little space that we blocked out earlier. And this is kind of just how I've been doing my weekly spreads over the past few weeks. I just really like the way that the little cursive looks uh, in that little space. Um, a lot of the spreads that they post on the Archer and Olive Instagram page look like this. So that's where the inspiration usually comes from for these kinds of spreads. So if you guys want to see some really lovely, beautiful bullet journal spreads, I highly recommend you checking out the Archer and Olive Instagram page for inspiration.
Also, if you are at all interested in getting any Archer and Olive items, any of the things that I'm using in this video today, I actually have an affiliate code if you guys would like to also support me when supporting this woman-owned business. It's such a lovely business. I honestly love working with them on everything. They're so sweet. They're so mental health focused and honestly just a super lovely company to um, support if you can a small business to support yeah they just have great uh, values and morals and just doing great work so if you are all interested in uh, supporting our channel I'll, I'll leave the links down there in the description to all the stuff that i use and you can use my affiliate code if you'd like So then I just kind of decorated all the empty space that I had with these little doodles. Kind of just loved the excuse to doodle these flowers forever. It was so nice. And uh, I left the bottom right area blank because that's where I'm gonna do my sort of like this week or like tasks that I have to complete this week. And uh, I always love having that area in my weekly spreads just because it's tasks that I don't really want to put on a specific day, but I know I have to do them that week you know? So that's where I'm gonna write those down. So then of course, got some sparkles in there, some, some little shinies here and there. And that was it for my weekly spread and all of my spreads for my May bullet journal. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just gonna give you guys the flip through now. Uh, I honestly had a blast. Uh, it's always so relaxing and cathartic to sit down and do some bullet journaling once in a while. So thank you for joining me if you did. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you journaled along with me, let me know uh, on my social media and everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely May and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.